Hello, this is Eric Granberg, president of Granberg International, and I want to talk about our Alaskan winch. The Alaskan winch easily mounts on the Alaskan mill or the small log mill. But to mount it, you slide two carriage bolts into the slot on the rail, and then you attach it with two coupling nuts here. Also, we supply 38 feet of line. On the line is a carabiner, which will attach to the lever arm. And there's a return knob that you attach to the other side of the OC rail. The feature I wanted to talk about today and demonstrate is the new friction screw and spring, which we've added to the Alaskan winch body. It's a nylon screw, glass and fuse, so it's very tough. We have a spring underneath it to keep tension on the screw itself. So when you're not using the mill and uh, you've stopped using the winch, you just tighten this up and it prevents the winch handle from unwinding. When you want to use the winch itself, you just loosen it and it becomes free. Now this is really good when you stop milling before you leave the cut or when you're entering the cut and the line is not attached to the end of the log, you can tighten this up and then the line will not become loose and get in the way of the saw. Now, the second item of importance with the winch assembly is the lever arm, which you attach with two to four screws at the end of the log. It also has an adjustable carabiner attachment here, which you can adjust up and down for height depending on the diameter of the log. I like to have it just at the level of the cut, and so it pulls equally as you come off the cut. You can adjust it any way you want. However, if you want more down tension, you can move it down. If, if it needs to be higher, you can move it up. So once I engage the saw in the cut, I will pull the carabiner down to this end to attach it. Now, I just wanted to discuss before I finish the cut, when you're using the winch with the mill, especially the small log mill, you have to make sure that you give a little up pressure to the saw to compensate for the saw's weight, because you want to keep this corner of the small log mill and this part of the rail down on the cut. So you're down pressure on the winch as you're winching, as you're cranking, and a little up pressure on the saw is all you need to keep it flat. So you can see, if you look closely at the grain here, 
that the saw is cut very smoothly, not only because you're using Gramberg ripping chain, but because we use the winch to put the saw through the cut very evenly.